our next name is our brand new Main Street director, Ellen Hill. That works, and you're next. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, good afternoon. My name is Howard Dasser. I am the chairman of the Downtown Development uh, uh, Committee uh, Association. I appreciate the opportunity to speak uh, to you today. I know your job is very difficult. Uh, I'm going to say a few words uh, basically on behalf of the association and, and try to convey our ideas for the courthouse. A lot of our ideas have already been said, so um, we are supporting uh, some type of uh, combination with Valdosta State or uh, some uh, students uh, downtown. And, and the reason we're doing that is because we see a, a greater economic impact. And that's really what uh, our association, uh, that's the goal of our association, is to see renewal in downtown and also a positive economic impact. Uh, <clears throat> briefly, just a little bit of background on our association. Uh, back in the um, Late 80s, uh, a lot of people moved out of downtown and moved to the mall, uh, and we were left with some old buildings, and I'm sure most of you remember that, and there was a lot of vacancies. Uh, the Downtown Development Authority, in connection uh, with the Main Street program, started what they call the Streetscape, and this program was uh, essentially a $12 million investment in downtown. It was uh, partially uh, city-funded, uh, county, uh, federally funded, business owners funded, and it was a combination of all three. Bonds were taken out, and uh, the tax millage rates were raised, and improvements were made. Landscaping, signage, roads were redirected, and uh, uh, this investment uh, was paid back eight years early. The bond was retired about two years ago, and since the time of that streetscape, there's been over a $30 million private investment in the downtown area. So we're certainly on the way back. We're not all the way where we want to be, but we're working in the right direction. Um, after the streetscape success, we did a master plan for downtown. <clears throat> there were two main uh, sections that they asked us to, to work on. Number one was housing. They felt like housing for our downtown area was low. Right now we have essentially 100 100 housing units. Uh, there's 11 online that should be uh, ready for occupancy within the next uh, 60 days. Uh, and then after that, there's another 120 units uh, which are scheduled to be built in the next 36 months by a major developer out of Alabama. And that's going to be announced shortly. It's been announced some already. This is not groundbreaking. Uh, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag by any way, uh, any shape of imagination, but they've identified it as a need. This group has done this in other areas and uh, other downtown areas, of cities of similar size to Valdosta, and they see a need for Valdosta, and they're going to put, it's about an 8 or $10 million investment to downtown. They're so interested, they, there's another project for housing that they have already started talking to downtown about maybe wanting to get in on it if this one goes well, because they feel like it will. And this uh, new housing development is going to be geared towards young professionals. And um, they're very excited about it. The next main uh, area they focused on was the courthouse. It is the iconic symbol of Lowndes County. I mean, we've all identified with it. We're, you know, we have fathers and grandfathers and great grandfathers in many cases that have been in that courthouse. And, uh, you know, it's emotional on, to many of us who are from here. And we want to see it preserved and we want to see it maintained and we want to see it for future generations. And one of their uh, points that they brought up is they identified VSU as a main target. And their reasoning was they saw it because they felt like VSU would restore it and maintain it. And as you've heard, Dr. Knoll and just about everyone else from Valdosta State, that's basically what they have said they want to do. And I fully agree with that assessment. Uh, and they also identified Valdosta State as a potential revenue 
stream for the county. And not necessarily rental revenue, which it could be, but it also, uh, from the economic standpoint, the impact that students would have locating to the courthouse. There, if you go around downtown now, you will see some vacancies, storefronts. And the economic impact that we project, although we don't have the hard numbers yet, we just didn't have time to put them together, hopefully we can work and get, get you some numbers or some projections that similar projects in other areas, some results they've had. But we can certainly see investment, private investment increasing in the areas around the courthouse, which will increase tax rolls and increase sales tax. And that's you're, a major you're benefit. You're aware that you will have from June 30th to submit? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So we, we certainly see that as a, uh, a benefit um, and also a benefit to, to everyone downtown. The existing businesses as well as, you know, the potential new businesses that it could bring. And we just think this is a perfect storm, a perfect opportunity uh, that can really redirect the, the future of how downtown can go with the with the new uh, uh, apartments coming downtown, with some new businesses that have located downtown recently, a lot of white collar jobs. We just feel like if we could get some students down here, I mean, this could be a perfect trifecta in a perfect storm that could launch uh, downtown Valdosta into, into a, uh, a booming time. And so we're excited about it. I know you all have a tough job and uh, I just wanna let you know, we, we fully support uh, whatever decision you make and and we appreciate your time and consideration. Thank you very much. Any questions from the committee? Okay. Thank you, Alan. Thank you.